You've made it just in time. There's only one active escape pod left. Come on, we can hide out on the planet below. Okay, cool. So, you're not going to give me a bunch of tutorials, right? Please tell me you're not. Th things were weird. Let's just go, please. I'm a soldier with the Republic, like you. We're the last two crew members left in the Endar Spire. Basila's escape pod's already gone, so there's no reason for us to stick around here and get shot by the Sith. Now, come on! There'll be time for questions later. I didn't ask you a single question. I didn't ask you who you are. I just said, let's go. That's not a question. That's a statement. Right? Hey, can you give me some leg room, please? Thank you. Good to see you up instead of thrashing about in your sleep. You must have been having one hell of a nightmare. I was wondering if you were ever going to wake up. I'm Karth, one of the Republic soldiers from the Endar Spire. I was with you in the escape pod. Do you remember? Yeah, I had some pretty weird dreams. It was kind of hot. But, uh, where are we? I'm not surprised. You took a serious blow to the head. You're probably having all kinds of strange dreams. I wouldn't worry too much about it. We've been slipping in and out of consciousness for a couple of days now, so I imagine you're pretty confused about things. Try not to worry. We're safe. At least for the moment. We're in an abandoned apartment on the planet of Terrace. We were banged up pretty bad when our escape pod crashed, but luckily I wasn't seriously hurt. I was able to drag you away from our crash site and all the confusion, and I stumbled into this abandoned apartment. By the time the Sith arrived on the scene, we were long gone. The who? Terrace is under Sith control. Their fleet is orbiting the planet, they've declared martial law, and they've imposed a planet-wide quarantine. But I've been in worse spots. I saw on your service records that you understand a remarkable number of alien languages. That's pretty rare in a raw recruit. But it should come in handy while we're stranded on a foreign world. There is no way the Republic will be able to get anyone through the Sith blockade to help us. If we're gonna find Bastila and get off this planet, we can't rely on anybody but ourselves. Huh. Okay. Uh, I, I asked who the Sith were, not like what they're doing, but I'm guessing they're bad guys from what you're, the way you made it sound like, so... So it's hopefully we don't run into them. Uh, also... Who is Bastila? And why is she important again? That smack to your head did more damage than I thought. Bastila's a Jedi. She was with the strike team that killed Darth Revan, Malak's Sith Master. Bastila's the key to the whole Republic war effort. The Sith must have found out that she was on the Endar Spire and set an ambush for us in this system. I believe Bastila was on one of the escape pods that crashed down here in Terrace. For the sake of the Republic war effort, we have to try and find her. Okay. Cool. Uh, do you have any idea where we can start looking for her? While you were out, I did some scouting around. There are reports of a couple of escape pods crashing down into the Undercity. It's probably a good place to start. But the Undercity's a dangerous place. We don't want to go there unprepared, and it won't do Bastila any good if we go and get ourselves killed. Hey, well... Hmm. Well, since you seem to be the talkative type and just love being questioned... Uh... I have more questions. I'll tell you whatever I can, though I, I don't know how much help it'll be. Okay, so I... Okay, I guess the first question I'd like to know is, uh... What else can you tell me about this Malik guy? Malik. <laughs> that is such a dumb name. <laughs> Malik. Bobalik. Fofalik. Balik. Ba... You know, I'm not very good at rhyming. In fact, I think most of the words I just said, I just made up on the spot. But anyway, uh, what can you tell me about Darth Malak and his Sith? Everything I know about Malak is pretty much common knowledge. He escaped the trap that killed Darth Revan, his Sith Master. With Revan's death, Malak became the new Dark Lord. 
It's obvious that Malik's a ruthless tyrant who'll crush anyone who stands in his way, just like Revan was. Experience has shown that the Sith won't stop until the Republic lies in ruins. Malak and his Sith don't respect anything except raw, brutal power. It's hard to imagine how someone who used to be a Jedi could become such a monster. They were both Jedi once, but they're no longer not Jedi. So, they are now Sith. So, uh, can you give me more background information? Malak and Revan were once both part of the Jedi Order, but they were young and headstrong, and against the wishes of the Council, they went to battle the Mandalorians on the Outer Rim. Something happened out there. Something corrupted them and drew them over to the dark side. Or maybe there was something rotten inside them all along. I don't know. They formed an army of ex-Republic soldiers and Jedi who'd fallen to the dark side, with Revan at their head, until Revan was killed by Bastila's Jedi strike team. But even that didn't slow the Sith down. Malak just stepped in and assumed Revan's role. He took control of the Sith Armada and resumed the bloody conquest of the Outer Worlds. Good idea. We can use this abandoned apartment as a base. We can probably get some equipment and supplies here in the upper city. Just remember to keep a low profile. I've heard some grim stories about the Dark Jedi interrogation techniques. They say the Force can do terrible things to a mind. It can wipe away your memories and destroy your very identity. But I figure if we don't do anything stupid, we should be okay. I mean, after all, they're, they're looking for Bastila, not a couple of grunts like us. All right, soldier, let's move out. Okay, for some reason that you said that, I just got a cold chill. Did you feel that? Of course.